Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey guys, I'm Cybertronics and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Hydra. Now, what is Hydra and how does it work? Hydra is a login brute force tool used to brute force various login protocols like SSH, Telnet, FTP, HTTP, HTTPS, etc. The list goes on. And how it works is it uses word lists to find passwords or find valid usernames for the various protocols. And usually how it works is we've got a username and we need to crack the password, right? So we'll feed the username to Hydra and then we'll give it the word list for the password so that it can find the password inside that word list. If the password is not inside the word list, then you're out of luck. Um, you could also do this with the username, but usually it works just we just need the password. But you could also use the username. So you're going to need Kali Linux or any Linux distro and you're going to need Hydra. So let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, if you don't have uh, Kali Linux and you're using some other distro of Linux, then you're going to want to install Hydra. So to do that, you're going to open up a terminal and you're going to type in apt install Hydra. You're going to hit enter and that's going to go ahead and start installing Hydra. I already have it installed, so it's not going to install it for me. So once you do that, we can actually go ahead and get started. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to brute force the web page that we have right here. This is a try hack me machine. And I've already done it a while back, but I'm just using it as reference so that you guys can see how you could brute force a login page from a web server. So let's go ahead and show you how we could do that. So you're going to open up your terminal and to use Hydra, you're going to specify Hydra. And I'm going to just go ahead and uh, put the syntax here so you guys can see it. And you're going to give it the dash L. Uh, keep in mind, guys, if you're going to use a word list, then it would be capital L, right? Uh, as you can see for the password, instead of a lowercase p, it's a capital P because we're using a word list. So if you already have the credential that, for, let's say, for example, you already have the username, right? Like we have right here, Molly, then it would be lowercase L, Molly, or whatever the username is that you have. And then for the password, since we don't have a password and that's why we're using Hydra, we're going to put capital P and we're going to use a word list. In this case, we're using the Rocky word list. And you got to specify the file path that it's in if you're not in the actual directory of the word list you're using. So as you can see here, uh, the word list that I'm using is in the user slash share slash word list directory. And so, yeah, you got to specify the file path. That's important. And then after that, you're going to put the IP address or the website because, you know, in a, in a real world scenario, let's say you're doing a bug bounty or something, you're not going to you know brute force the ip unless unless it's an actual ip but usually the, they have domain names so you'll put the ip or the domain name after the word list and then depending on the http method that is used on the web page uh you're gonna either put http post form or http get form so let's go ahead and show you real quick because this is important let's show you how you could actually figure out um how you could see what uh method is getting you could also do this through the uh the developer tools and all that but i'm gonna just go ahead and show you burp suite because since we are penetration testers we're gonna just go ahead and use burp suite because that's what we like to use all right guys and now that we got our burp proxy open if you don't know what uh burp suite is burp suite is basically a proxy service that allows us to get our web request before it goes to the server and intercept it through the proxy so that we can view the uh request so that we can see the http methods we can play around with it modify it inject code etc so it's a very popular uh web app pen testing tool that a lot of bug bounty hunters use and um if you haven't used it you can go ahead and uh, look up on youtube some good videos uh you got david bombo he's got a good video on it on uh, nahamsek uh there's a lot of good videos and i'll probably make one in the future but for your reference right now go ahead and learn about burp suite and you can also do try hacking all that stuff okay so what we're gonna do right now is just to see the http method that we're using on the login page so that we can know what to specify in hydra all right so to do that we're going to turn on the intercept on the burp proxy and we're going to go to our foxy proxy and we're going to turn it on and we're going to say since we got the username molly and we're going to put in a, a random password i'm going to put in admin just to get the web request and now that we got the web request we can see that it is a post method so now we know that we're going to use an http post method instead of the http get method so let's go ahead and continue with the hydra let's turn off our burp and let's go ahead and close it so now that we know the http method that we're using for the login page 
Uh, we're gonna go ahead and specify that. So we're gonna put in HTTP post form after the IP address or the domain. And after that, you're gonna put in a parentheses and you're gonna specify the directory path of the login. So if it was login.php, then it would be slash login.php. Uh, in this case, it's slash login. So that's what we specified. And then you're gonna put colon and then you're gonna do the username and the user and password and pass exactly as you see it here because that's the syntax for, for Hydra to use the, the username you're using and the password word this, right? So, and then after that, you're gonna put another colon and then F, capital F equals, and this is the failure message you get when you log in as a wrong uh, user with a password or whatever. So as you can see here, uh, when we tried to log in earlier and it wasn't correct, the error message we get is your username or password is incorrect, period. So that's where you're gonna enter in the, in the syntax right here uh, after the F equals, and you're gonna put in the error message you get when you fail to log in, right? And then you're gonna put the end parentheses, and then after that, we're gonna get hit enter. And after a few seconds, guys, Hydra gives us a password, and the password for Molly is Sunshine. Very weak password, as you can see. And now we can log in to the web page as Molly. So let's go ahead and uh, type in Molly and her password, Sunshine. And there you go, guys. There's the flag for the try hacking machine. Uh, I don't know what all this is. I don't know what's, what's going on here. But uh, yeah, guys, that's how you could brute force a login page. Now, let's go through one more thing before we top off this video. Uh, let's show you how you could brute force another protocol like an SSH server, right? So this machine, guys, as you can see, has an open port on 22, which is the SSH or Secure Shell Protocol. And if you don't know what the SSH or Secure Shell Protocol is, it's basically a way to log into a system uh, using an encrypted service, right? Like before, when people wanted to get remote access to their uh, computers or whatever, they used Telnet and that's not encrypted, it's all plain text. So that's very bad because somebody could just sit in the middle in your network and intercept all that traffic. And so that's why they created the SSH protocol so that it would be encrypted and people could uh, connect remotely to their devices uh, with encryption. So anyway, uh, we wanna brute force the SSH port with Hydra. So to do that, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna type in Hydra L, tag L Mali. Um, you're gonna put tag capital P for the password uh, wordless, and you're gonna specify the wordless you're gonna use, and then you're gonna put the IP address, and you're gonna put the protocol right after, and that's SSH in our case. And one more thing, guys, in a real world pen test, if you're gonna use Hydra, you might wanna put tag T and say four, because what this is gonna do is gonna reduce the tasks. Uh, that way you don't, you know, crash the server accidentally or whatever, because if you're doing a bug bounty in the real world, you know, you don't want to mess things up. So it's recommended to lower the task. The default is 16. Um, but yeah, since this is just a, a, an example and I just want to get this out of the way, we're not going to specify that, but that's important to know if you're going to be doing a real world uh, bug bounties and pen tests and all that stuff, right? So. Once we've got that entered, we're gonna go ahead and hit enter and Hydra's gonna start brute forcing the SSH protocol. And we should have the password here fairly quick, as you can see, and the password is butterfly. So now let's SSH into Molly's machine. So we're gonna say SSH Molly at, and we're gonna put the IP address of the machine and we're gonna hit enter. And it's gonna ask us to continue connecting for a fingerprint, yada yada. And it's gonna ask you for the password. So since we just brute forced it, we're gonna put it in, butterfly. And there you go, guys. We're inside the machine, print working directory, home Molly. Uh, you know, we can do whatever we want. We've got a reverse shell. So it's not the point. The point is uh, you could brute force SSH with Hydra as well. So, and you could do this with uh, various other protocols, guys. So yeah, a uh, pretty straightforward video. I hope you guys learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. And without further ado, let's get up out of here.